What's going on, everybody? This your boy, Mr. Football West Coast, and I'm back at you with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to operate a DCT on a M3. So basically, right now, I'm going to turn it off. So when you turn the car off, you're in park. Shifter hasn't moved. So when you turn the car back on, you're in park. So to put it in gear, look at the shifter. So right, all the way in the corner, is reverse. In the middle, all the back down is neutral. If you push it back, then you know you're going up gear. If you push it forward, then you're downshifting. Now if I hit this to the side once, you're in manual mode so you can Go, you can shift up and down using this or you know the paddle shifters. If I hit it over one more time, I'm in drive. So drive mode, you can just drive like a regular automatic. Now this car has no uh, uh, torque converter, so if you're on a hill, you know you want to keep your foot on the gas. I mean, you know, on, on a on a brake pedal, so that way you won't roll back. If you roll back, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, it's going to mess the clutch up, basically. Uh, the automated clutch. Um, is this better than the manual? Some say oh, yeah, some say no. Um, I like it. It's, it's good for a daily driver, in my opinion. Um, going back here. And if you want to turn the car off, all you got to do... Leave it here, leave it in gear, drive one, and then just turn the car off, and it automatically put, it, put itself in park. Now, I just wanted to do a quick video and let you guys know how this works. Um, you can also use the paddle shifters as well. You got plus, you got plus, you got minus right here. And that's my video. Thanks for watching.